सिक्योर की गारंटी एंड आर पी संजीव गोयन का ग्रुप ग्रोइंग लेगेसीज दिस इज टीवी एटीन एंड यूर वॉचिंग सी एन बी सी टीवी एटीन presented by Amira make something beautiful focus ideate innovate enable hello and welcome to a brand new series on CNBC TV 18 the rise of india Over this series join us as we profile the power players pushing the Indian rice industry forward. India ranks number 2 worldwide in terms of farm output and agriculture is still the largest employment provider in the country with 51% of the workforce engaged in agriculture or allied sectors. Forming a key component of the agriculture sector in India is the cultivation of rice. On this episode we catch up with Karan Channa the chairman of the Amira group a fourth generation entrepreneur who transformed his family's 100 year old rice business into a global food company that's taking the taste and aroma of Indian basmati to plates across the world India is the home to basmati rice uh, although the history of basmati rice predates man made borders so it's a shared heritage uh, between now between India and Pakistan uh basmati i'd like to describe it as champagne and wine uh champagne because it comes from a protected gi wine because we need to age the product before we bring it to the consumer this industry has seen rapid and continued growth which makes it unique um if you see the kegar growth over the last 15 to 20 years has been in high teens mid to, mid to high teens uh so let's put it in facts and figures the basmati rice industry has grown by approximately 12 to 15% uh kegar over the last 15 to 20 years reason being uh it's been compared to truffles to foie gras other exotic uh, gourmet food which i think it supersedes uh for the following reason a it's an affordable super grain now super grain why it's been scientifically described because of the flavor aroma texture of amira basmati rice and it's scientifically approved qualities of low glycemic index zero cholesterol zero gluten and being allergy free over on top of it basmati rice as grown in the foothill of the himalayan mountain range consumes in its cultivation little over half the water in comparison to other rice thus making it environmentally friendly as well all these aspects have have driven the growth of the business from the consumer side and the farmers have supported the growth i'm the fourth generation to own and head amira okay i grew up in the business but took it over in october 2006 from that time onward we have rapidly grown and that has been clearly under the factor that i set out a vision for transforming the business from a family owned and managed to a family owned and professionally managed enterprise we launched the amira brand in 2008 across the world we successfully ipoed the business on the new york stock exchange and we are one of two companies from india to have successfully done that uh, and the rice industry as i spoke about earlier has grown rapidly the change has been with times that is why we as a family as a company and as now today amira as an institution is continuously evolving to suit changing times and here's what has happened rice and uh, basmati rice from india has gone from being an unorganized sector to an organized industry we at amira led that change since taking over the reins of the company karan chanana's vision has seen the company grow from strength to strength combining age old wisdom with a professionally managed setup and a dynamic business model has allowed amira to penetrate markets worldwide thus implementing the brand philosophy of food connect I set out a vision to create a global food brand. Okay, and what better product category to do it than in rice? The history of rice goes back to the history of humankind. Look at our culture in India. What do we use rice in? Rice is the food of gods. Rice is used at every occasion. 
throughout our birth and death cycle. When I took over, we, I clearly put in mechanisms through my vision, our age-old multi-generational philosophy of doing the best for if all stakeholders. That means we have to be clear and bring on board the farmers, our clients, and Amira the corporate. So institutionalization from family owned and managed to from family owned to professionally managed. Our philosophy is to deliver the Amira brand to all consumers across the world in an equitable manner, at the same time delivering great take home value to our farmers, thereby creating something what we know and talk about is Food Connect, connecting people with the language of food. So our business model is uh, clearly as follows. We have the Amira brand, which now sells in 40 countries, but our total business is in 60 countries. So we, were, we also do what we call third party brands for large distribution companies across the world, predominantly uh, in the emerging markets, Africa, Middle East, MENA region, and a little bit in uh, the developed world as well. <clears throat> what that enables us to do is the following. When we are doing a third party distributor's brand, <clears throat> we do exactly what we do for the Amira brand for them. So we procure from the farms, we process, we age the product, and we deliver into their distribution system, into the individual country, town, city, warehouse. This enables us to map the market, which is a risk mitigant. And as a result, over a period of time, we are able to understand the consumer in each different country. We use that knowledge, adapt it to bring out an Amira branded product. Okay, And this works very well with our third party branded customers and the Amira brand distributors. This all makes for our strategy to be low risk, high growth. For the company to succeed across the multiple markets they service, Amira has today developed a wide and varied range of products. We followed a clear strategy of spreading our wings across the globe. We not only do basmati rice, we do other speciality rice. We do soft cooking rices, we do jasmine rice, we do long grain parboil, we do easy cook, we do brown, we do organic. So we have a complete basket, probably one of the largest uh, number of SKUs from any rice company in the world. So we at Amira start with the best money can buy. We have the premium, we have the value, and we have the popularly priced. These are clearly signified by the packaging. We have the Amira Gold Line, which is the best money can buy, and we have the extra, Amira Extra Long Grain, which is the number one product for us. Okay? We have the premium range, Okay, which is second. Then we have the value range, which is in our, like our dumb uh, biryani rice, which is food service. Okay, and then we have the popularly priced range, okay, which is basmati and basmati blends as well. So we are being true, honest, and transparent with our consumers. So the consumers can always trade in from regular rice onto their first stage of uh, basmati rice, and also know that the best money can buy comes from Amira. This what is what we call the Amira Pyramid and clearly communicates to our consumers and to all consumers that Amira is the benchmark. Our aim is always to re-benchmark quality upwards and that's the only way you can create a food brand. It's time for a short break on the rice of India. On the other side, we visit Amira's factory in Gurgaon and see how they're using technology to stay ahead of the competition.